Good morning, fam. It is Wednesday morning, June 8th, and we are about to head to the gym. Today is going to be my first day actually filming with the DSLR, so hopefully none of the shots are blurry, but I'm going a, I'm to a make some breakfast now, and then we're going to head to the gym. So the only thing I have for breakfast really is this cinnamon raisin bagel. Shut the fuck up. All right, y'all, we're gonna head to the gym now. As you can see, I have no speaker, so I'm listening to music straight out of my phone like a little ghetto boy. But, look, kids. What is going on, guys? It is good to be back in the gym, good to be back here in Albuquerque. We are about to get back into a good squat session. We are about to get back into a good gym routine. And to start it all off, we are hitting some very, very, very light quad focused leg workouts. So to start off, I warmed up with uh, just a bar just to get my legs going, get my joints flowing get my blood going i already said that but i hit the 185 which is not usually my weight for a working set however coming back from vacation and two weeks of not lifting too often two weeks of eating pretty crappy two weeks of ankle injuries i actually sprained my ankle while doing cardio on vacation i flipped a kayak and got stung by a stingray on vacation so my lower body just isn't looking too great right now um, but still getting back into the gym keeping it very light doing high repetitions with lower weight and 185 is still adequate for me. I'm still able to knock out 10 reps and still feel a good contraction in my legs, but I don't feel like I'm working too, too hard. My central nervous system still feels fine. My quads are still burning, and that's the most important thing. So we did some back squats, 185, moved over to the front squat, 135 on the bar. Once again, keeping it real, real light because my stingray foot hurts real damn bad i got a lot of blood up in there it's things when i wake up in the morning i can't really do calf raises too well but nonetheless we are back in the gym and we got to foam roll today and i know a lot of people myself included foam roll before a leg session before a squat session however i also foam roll after my squat sessions just to keep my legs from getting sore to keep knots from getting into my thighs because you see the booty the booty's pretty big and when the booty is big like mine and when the quads are big like mine you have to roll them out and make sure nothing is wrong with them okay so first post first worker first workout post workout meal we're gonna be eating some eggs with rice and ketchup cats up and then I'm going to be making a smoothie with one scoop of vanilla whey protein, my new wave blender, and then a, uh, some mixed fruit from Walmart, the pineapple, strawberry, peach, and mango. I'm going to do 210 grams of this, one scoop of this, eight ounces of water, and then a couple pieces of ice.
All right, y'all, so that was it for today's gym session, and that's uh, going to be it for the day, pretty much. I'm just going to sit here and finish, do a little extra studying for my NASM certification, drinking my shake, doing the studying. Mmm, that's thick, like ice cream. Like my shakes, how I like my women. Sweet and soft. That's pretty much going to be it for today. Going to drink this shake, going to finish studying, and then I actually got to go into work tonight. So, thank you guys for watching. I will catch y'all in tomorrow's video. I'm sick of dudes treating girls like nothing more than some digits and hitting them late at night with a text to see if they with it. Begging to pay a visit so he can hit it and quit it, then proceed to do the same to several women just as ignorant.